key to the treasure chest. The treasures, our treasure chest is nearby and that's the key that unlocks the box, 100%. Oh, yes, it's got uh, both. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fantastic, oh, Alex, oh congratulations. I think I found a gold. No, you're joking. You're, you're kidding. You're kidding. <gasps> Hello. Hello. So we've come to a mudlarking spot, one of our favourites that we haven't been to for a while. Yeah. But there's been floods, so we're hoping new stuff has been revealed. Yeah. So let's go and see if we can find those treasures. Yeah, I mean, lots of storms. And I don't know, it has, it's been like months since we were last here. Yeah. So let's do it. is a vulcanite bottle stopper oh and it's a war grade one with the dimple in haven't found one of those for a while great oh so my first find down here is I can see it already it's a little cowrie shell uh, a species that's not native to the UK so this has come from the foreshore the dump Maybe someone brought it back from holiday or maybe it was a piece of jewellery, who knows? And this is a gasket off the cylinder head of an old car. And I know that because my brother used to take old cars to pieces and got brainwashed. Is this a bead? I don't think it is. I'm not sure what it is actually. Hole in one side and sort of domed on the other. It could have been a button. And there is a, like a post office bag seal. And down there looks like a bit of old oil lamp. Yeah, I think it is. Oh my goodness, I, I just turned the camera off and then I spot this. Oh, look. It's a tiny little like carriage, like a train carriage or a train car. Oh, a little like lead train car, a little toy. That's cute. Not found anything like that before. That's so cute. Beautiful. Oh, I found a few interesting things down here, but the main thing it's a little piggy. It's a little yellow, like lead tin toy piggy. A pig. How beautiful is that? Yeah, look. I found a little oh. piggy. Like a little tin piggy. Oh, I, love that. I know, isn't it cute? Not found a pig before. It has something written on the bottom, actually. I think it says. Say Britain. I think it says, hold on. I can't see what it says. It has something on the bottom though. There was a company called Britons. There, was, there is a company, or was, called Britons that made a lot of lead toys, farm animals, and things like that. So that could be it. It could be. I'm not sure it says it starts with a B, whatever it says though. It does. I'm not sure if it does. Oh, okay. But we'll have to check that out later. It's cute. This little lead alloy pig was made by the toy company Hornby and dates from around the 1920s or 1930s. Little Pig will join our growing collection of wounded lead animals, loved, played with, broken, discarded, found and loved once again. Can you spot the find? It's a cod marble. Look at this, can you see it? It's one of my favourite finds. It's a cut glass bottle stopper. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. That's beautiful. 
We've got a little tiny white bead down here as well. Tiny, but it's a bead, so can't go wrong with a bead. See something down there that could potentially be, ah, something interesting. Oh, it's like a box. It's like a little tin box. It's like decoration around the edge. Oh, that's cute. The lid has, unfortunately though, long gone. But I think I'll take that. And down next to it, there's a little sauce bottle stop. Quite a little stumpy one, actually. Cool, loads of finds down here under these trees. Oh, a bit difficult to squeeze under though. How lovely is this little box, all decked out in trailing wisteria flowers. It would have had a hinge lid and is probably what's known as Japanese antinomy ware. Antinomy is a soft silver grey metal that is easily stamped and moulded. It was used widely in Japan to produce decorative metalware, especially small boxes which were often decorated with highly detailed designs. Our box probably dates from the early 20th century and, even in its corroded state, is very charming. Oh, what's this red thing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see that? It's a bead. It's got the holes through it. Wow. That is beautiful. It's probably off a bracelet. Look at that. Yay. I love it. Don't know what this is, it's a bit of brass. Come in for making things with. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this. <laughs> Look at this egg cup. <laughs> what is it? A pelican? I don't know, it's a broken egg cup. But I've got to keep it. Look at the face on that. <laughs> Cute. Oh my goodness, is it another bead? I think it is. Oh, washing, washing. It is, it's a bead. That is beautiful. Look at that. I am being really lucky with beads today. That's gorgeous. There's a few cogs here that might come in useful if they clean up okay, not too corroded. Okay, so I found another one of these white buttony things with a hole in one end, one side. The other one I found miles away from here. Well, quite away from here. How strange. Oh no. Oh, Japan it says up there on the back. It's like a little cupid doll, but as you can see quite clearly, it has no head. Oh, what a shame. Now it's funny because up here, oh, where is it? Oh, there, yes. Up here I have found a head and it looks like a little soldier's head. How strange! I found something without a head and then I find a head. Whoops. One of those little dolls with the head would be very nice though if the river is listening. If the river mudlarking gods are listening, I'd like a whole one, please. I have found though another. Ah! Another tinsy bead! It's not going to run away from me, it keeps trying to get away. You're not getting away from me, little bead. There we go, a little blue bead. Oh, 
Oh, the mum's found some amazing beads. Look at these. I've just got that tiny one. And look, down here, we've got yet another. <laughs> is it a bead? I'm is not sure. Bead? I can't see any hole. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a bead. Ta Unless it's the top of a hat pin. No, I think it is. It's got. Oh, no. Yeah, it's only got one hole, so it's not a bead. It's a hat pin. It's a, it must be a hat pin end or something, or a pin of some kind. But they are absolutely McCracken finds, aren't they? McCracken finds. Oh, we haven't been here 10 minutes. No, we haven't. So it's going to be a bead it's day. It's going to be a bead. It's already been a bead day. Yay. Yay. There is a little bottle down here, and I'm just hoping that it's whole. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. A beautiful little cut glass perfume. Well, I say whole, but it has got a little chip there. A few nibbles around the top, which could possibly be ground out. But look at that. That's really unusual. Probably a little perfume bottle. A lot of bottles we find of this type have been pressed into shape in a mould. This lovely little bottle would have had the design cut into it by hand using an abrasive wheel and finished on a polishing wheel. Cut glass bottles, beads, stoppers and buttons always stand out from their moulded counterparts by their crisp, shiny, clean cut appearance. You could say they were a cut above the rest. I found a very curious lid here. It's a lid and it's got like three, well, finger holes in the top where you would pick it up. How strange. It's a pity it's all nibbled around the edge or I would have taken that, but it's unusual. Here is a marble. Oh no, that would have been a lovely marble, but it's absolutely knackered. Okay, so Alex is over here screaming. My knee pad's coming off, hang on. She's screaming about something. What she found? I've just spotted it. Oh, I'm getting tangled up in the branches. <laughs> I've just spotted it. I have I I just I haven't touched it. I just oh. it over. Do you see it? Oh my it's goodness, so I thought it was a bit of rock. No, look. It's, I don't know if it's whole though. Oh, pick it up. It I can see its arm has got <gasps> Yes, it's got uh, both. Uh, oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, oh we have God. never found a snow baby. Okay, that's a bucket list find guys. This oh, is something that wow. was on our bucket list and here it is. We're so I'm so pleased that it's whole as well. It's and whole. it was snowing this morning, so oh, yes. it's quite appropriate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now look at these little snow beans. Wow. Fantastic, oh Alex. Gosh, Congratulations. This, this, this <laughs> tiny little doll has made my whole day. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Look at face. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Finding a snow baby has been on our bucket list for a long time now and here it is, we found one! It's in good condition too, although it does have some burn-in iron stains, but it's still perfect to me. Snow babies apparently started out in the early 19th century as sugar cake decorations. But in the 1890s, German confectioner Johann Moll decided he wanted cake decorations that could be reused. 
he commissioned doll makers Hertwig and company to make them. But like so many other successful ventures, other companies were quick to jump on the bandwagon. The name Snow Baby is believed to have become associated with the cake decorations after the birth of Marie and Nikito Piri in Greenland in about 1893 to Arctic explorer Robert Peary and his wife Josephine. Little Marie became known worldwide as the Snow Baby and was believed to be the first non-indigenous baby to be born so far north. Her middle name, Agnihito, honoured the Inuit woman who made Marie's first fur suit. Perhaps snow babies of this time were actually modelled on the Little Marie with a snow-covered fur suit. Our snow baby probably dates from the early 20th century and what a little cutie she is. I can't concentrate now after I've found that snow baby. Oh goodness. But here, look at the size of this knob. It's broken, but there's another. It's got a little baby knob. I think that's its son. There. It's got a child. Let's go and have a look up here though. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at that. Oh yes, look at that bead. Look at that bead. It's a beautiful like drop bead. Oh beautiful, I'm glad I just squirmed up here. I wasn't going to. Oh what a great day. What a great day already. We just got here. What else? Is there anything else here? Just see the end of a stopper sticking up there, look. Ta-da. But I found this and I thought it was a bead. And I don't think it is. It's only got a hole in one end again. So it must have been on the end of a pin of some kind. See, I just said I turn the camera off and then find something and I see something blue and it kind of looks like a cabochon. Maybe it's a, ooh, look, maybe it's a button. Or it's a bead, no, it's a bead. Oh my goodness, it's a bead. Look at that. A really like, ooh, it's like juicy, blue, opaque, cobalt blue bead oh wow today is a bead day that's beautiful beautiful vintage bead oh it looks like a berry but a blueberry oh lovely it's always when i turn the camera off i find something that's so annoying okay let's just let's just try that again keeping the camera on I can't see anything. Oh wait, what's that? Is it glass? It looks very red. Oh, yeah, it's a it's a fragment of reflector. Unfortunately, just a fragment though. Alex just found this. It's a brass club, I think. Yeah, it's Is it like club? the clubs of um of card card yeah. game. <sighs> Oh, I think it was a brooch. Maybe Look, it's there's, a, there's a, something on oh, the back there. There was a yeah. pin across. Maybe just a clover leaf. Oh, yeah, that's it's interesting. A brooch or yeah. something. Yeah. Unusual. <laughs> Shaped like a club on a playing card, this was once a pin or brooch, and you can still see traces of the pin on the back. It may once have been painted or enameled but is just as beautiful now after time and the elements have worked their magic. It's a really old bottle just lying here. It's tumbled down the river and it survived so I'm going to take it. Oh, I think this is a little pencil as well. No, it's not. It's out of a battery. Looks like the end of a bullet. The business end of a bullet. Just found a massive horseshoe. Look at that. Jimongous. And cogs. I think these are iron cogs. 
Otherwise I would have taken it on a real chisel. It's a bit crusty. We keep meaning to make something out of the cogs we find. We we'll definitely have to make something like... Mum will have to make something. Maybe like a, a cog man, like nail man. Oh, found this vial. Uh, this strange little counter thing. I'm not sure what it's made of. I think it's plastic actually. I've also found looks like a little bloke down here it's like a little tin toy it's a little seated man like a soldier or something <sighs> oh wait look and a bead a little white glass bead oh cool this little spot slightly younger part of the dump up here and there's some plastic things Oh my god. Oh my goodness, that is. That is hideous. That is absolutely hideous. <laughs> oh god. That is horrible. Okay, I'm not sure. I think I'll take that just because it's kind of hideous. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. I thought it might be a bit of linotype. I'm going to show this to mum because it's just horrifying. Cleaning did not make this face look any less hideous. It was made by British toy manufacturers Gan Toy and probably dates from the 1950s. At first we thought it was a clown, but now we think it could be Stan Laurel from the comedy duo Laurel and Hardy. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. This is a really odd little find. It's like made of tin lead. It's like a ring. Look, it's got like a design on there. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I think it's like some kind of toy. Is it like some kind of ring? Like maybe it was like a magic trick or something? I don't know. If you do know, you know what to do. <laughs> Let us know, please. <laughs> it's always helpful to know other people's thoughts because that is a bit of a strange mystery. At first, we couldn't figure out what was going on with this ring. Then I realized it was a trick or joke ring that would have had a rubber bulb attached that you would fill with water to be squirted on the unsuspecting admirer of your lovely ring. It probably dates from the 1940s and would have been fake gilded. How cool is this? Oh, I believe I found a little like cake candle holder. Two of the petals, I think, have snapped off. That's quite cool. I think that's like the third one of those I've found. Found a bit of doll's head here, actually. Oh, it's quite like a, it's quite chubby. It's got all chubby cheeks. Look at that. Shame it doesn't have its eyes, they never do. I'd love to find a doll's eye. Hint, hint. <laughs> There's quite a few metal pieces down here in the water. I fact saw this fork. I have no idea how it managed to get in that state. <laughs> and then this. Oh my goodness, it's a whistle. It's a tin whistle, look, it's still got the wood in. Oh, that's cool. Might be able to play it. I'm not putting it in my mouth like that though, <laughs> I'm afraid. That's cool. We think this is probably part of an old steam whistle. It looks like someone has tried to modify it by making a second opening near the top, then changed their mind and filled it in with a wooden bung. You can see where the original opening is at the bottom. Looking at the state of it, I'm hoping it wasn't in some kind of steam boiler that exploded. 
Hmm, I wonder if this could be a future steam whistle man. It's a bead! A big old bead at that, look at that. Wow, beautiful faceted green bead. That's beautiful. That is just glorious. It's very spiky. It's very sharp to wear around your neck. That's beautiful. Got some great bead finds today as well. I found this clay pipe, but um, it's a little bit crispy. So I think I'll leave that behind. Um, but down here, sorry pipe bowl, I found what looks like a tiny little, oh it is. A tiny little amber bottle. That is so precious. I found something down here and it's very shiny, like gold. Oh my goodness. I think I found a gold coin. So cute. What's mum found? Mum is very, seems very excited. She's incredibly excited about something. Oh, wonder what she's found. You're kidding me. 18, no. I can't see the date, it's too small. It's a, it's a half sovereign, what? Did I just hear sovereign? I did not just hear half sovereign. A sovereign is gold. Has mum found gold? No. <gasps> a half sovereign. Right, I'm going, I'm going up there. Oh my goodness. What can I hear you found? Did you just say sovereign? You're kidding me. It feels heavy enough to be gold. I cannot believe I've found Oh my, oh my goodness, look. I think it's a half sovereign. Mum, did you just say sovereign? Yes, gold, look. Gold? No, you're joking. I'm sure you're, it right, is. you're kidding. No, you're kidding. Not, look. <gasps> oh, oh, try not to say anything bad. <laughs> Mum's just found a gold coin. I think it's a half sovereign. Let me. No, it is a half sovereign. I can't believe it. What? What? It, who's on there? I think it's. Is it Edward the Seventh or? 1906. Yes, it's Queen Victoria's 1906 son. 1906 is Edward the Seventh. Yes. Oh my! You just found a hole. It was just lying here. Sovereign. It was just lying. I went. I went up there and I turned around and came back. Oh, is this a joke? Oh my god. Is that real? I can't but it's real. believe it. You better it's... believe it. Mum's just found a solid gold coin. That's like the, <sighs> that's like 18 carat, 22 carat gold or something like yeah, that. It's, a, it's very high it's carat gold. It's quarter sovereign or something like that. It's, I don't it's know. some kind of sovereign. It's, it's, gold. it's gold. It's a gold coin. You just found a gold. Someone must be very, very upset to lose that. Wow. I can't oh, believe okay. it. Wow, okay. Just lying here on the ground. And didn't you say this morning your palm was itching? On the way here in the car, my left palm was itching. <laughs> and I said, that no means wonder. I'm going to get some money. <laughs> what made you come up here anyway? We were looking by the water and you just know. came up here. I just suddenly... Got wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Find <laughs> of the day. Find of the find year, of the, find of the, the century. <laughs> no, it's a good one. Okay, that is very exciting. Uh, Who, wow, someone must have been very upset to lose that, that's all I can say. I can't believe it. I thought I'd won with the snow baby. I know. I thought I'd won. But I'm you've sorry, won. I, I trumped you. Oh God, that is amazing, <laughs> amazing. Stunned. That's the only way I could describe how I felt when I realised I'd found a gold coin. 
Gold doesn't tarnish like copper and brass, and this coin lay there on the mud, as brilliant as the day it was lost. I was right about it being a half sovereign. It's 22 karat gold, dates from 1906, and bears the head of the monarch Edward VII on one side, and St George slaying the dragon on the reverse. It's also in stunningly good condition considering what it's been through. We have not cleaned it and it remains exactly as it was found. The first gold coin to be named a sovereign was authorised by Henry VII in 1489. Next came the English sovereign, first struck in the 16th century. This coin was valued at one pound and was last minted in about 1603. After the great re-coinage of 1816, a new gold sovereign came into circulation and has been minted ever since. The nominal value is still just one pound, but it is now a bullion coin. How on earth this valuable coin ended up on a rubbish dump, we'll never know, but I imagine it was accidentally thrown out, perhaps hidden in the recesses of an old wallet or purse, or in an item of discarded clothing. Its past secrets are its own, but now we are part of its story as it continues its adventures in the world. We can't imagine we'll ever find another gold sovereign just lying on the surface of the mud smiling up at us. So, this really is a find of a lifetime. This looks like a little milkmaid. She's a bit broken, but um, her buckets are missing too. <laughs> But she's cute. Is this little bottle whole? Oh yes it is. Oh look. I love these little bottles. In case you didn't know. Look at that. That's so cute. Is this a whole bottle hiding behind this brick? It is. It's a cute little bottle. I like that. And Alex just pointed this little clay marble out. Pipe bowl. just found three stoppers, a glass one, a ceramic one and a vulcanite one. There's a pipe bowl down here but looks like all oh, it's been crushed. Look at this. How on earth did that survive? It's made of glass. Wow, it's out of a perfume bottle. That's crazy. Just the fact that it survived. When I first spotted this, I was sure it was going to be plastic because how on earth would it survive if it was glass? But glass it is and survive it did despite being thrown out, buried, dug up, washed down a river. It's a perfume stopper and dabber and was probably from an Art Deco perfume bottle designed by Lalique. It's very tactile and I absolutely love it. Okay, 
I thought this was just a bit of rusty iron. But look, it's actually a doll's body. There's the arm holes, there's the head hole, and that's where the legs went on. Oh, what's it even made of? I have to take that home, see if I can, uh, I don't know, do something with it. Oh no, it's another one without heed. Uh, it's another doll, like Penny doll. Unfortunately, there's no head in the bottom of the legs and the arms are missing. As ever. But all is not lost because we've got a little yellow bead to make up for it. Look at that beautiful little yellow glass bead. So precious. Oh, lovely. What is this? It's a little glassy find. Oh, it's got like metal on it as well. Look at that, that's really pretty. Oh, is it like a button or something? I'm not sure. I think it might be a button with some kind of metal surround on it or something. That's quite cute. It's like a flower or a sunburst. And I've also got a vulcanite stopper. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on looking for things, but I just can't get over the fact that mum's gone and found a solid gold coin just lying there on the foreshore. And I just keep thinking, nothing's gonna beat that now. <laughs> but no, we love all the tiny treasures, gold or otherwise. So I would be very happy with just some pretty beads, which I've got already and I've got a snow baby. Today has just turned out to be the best day ever. Oh my goodness. Okay, just spot something down here that looks quite funky. Looks like legs sticking out there, look. I'm not sure if it is whole. No, it's not. It's like a little man with a stick. That is so random. He's missing his head. <laughs> That's random. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll take it. Why not? Shame he hasn't got his head, but things never have their heads. We now think this lead alloy toy is a Charlie Chaplin figure minus his head. Charles Spencer Chaplin was born in London, England in around 1889 and despite a childhood of poverty and hardship, worked his way up to become one of the most iconic and well-loved comic actors of all time. Oh, a little man on horse, a little headless man on a horse, no head once again. <sighs> and yeah, the back legs are looking a little bit dodgy. <sighs> oh, that's funny because there's another little lead something. Oh, it's a, it's a man in a kilt with a gun. It's a Scotsman with a kilt and a gun, look. <laughs> That's cool. I've not found one of those before. Oh, is this a patch for lead toys? I think I found a lovely big bead down there, look. Oh yes, look at that, like a triangular bead, another green one. Oh, that's a beauty. Well, it's slowly starting to get dark now and the tide's coming in, so it's almost time to call it a day. But as ever, it's always difficult to pull yourself away when it's been such a good day and you know, we've been finding so many good things. But yeah, sooner or later you have to go home. What an amazing array of bold and colourful vintage beads we found this week. Most of them are press moulded, the smaller ones being cane cut, and the large green bead is hand fasted. What glorious additions to this year's bead string. This bottle is a beautiful colour. Oh look it's whole. 
that is absolutely gorgeous. So I just found this little lid and it's got a slot in it, look, where the spoon would have gone. And it's not broken. So that's cool. Hello. And I think Alex is ready to go home now. I think she's had enough. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go home. We've had a fantastic day. What an amazing mudlark this turned out to be. So many little treasures, too many to talk about them all. The lovely little bottles, the beautiful beads, stoppers, marbles and broken figurines. Who knows what awaits us on our next Northern Mudlarks adventure. Last week, the little pug puppy and the brass finger ring made it into the window of wonders. This week, the gold half sovereign has definitely made it into the window. But let us know in the comments what you would most like to see join it. Day, but we've had like a, a really, really, really like a proper really, really good day really today. Good. <laughs> like wow, <laughs> like a cot. Who finds a gold? Who sovereign? does that? Who no, does nobody that? does that. Nobody finds gold Who coins does that? at bottle dumps. <laughs> but apparently, Mum does. <laughs> oh my goodness! I still can't believe it. I still feel a bit numb. I know. We're still like totally shocked. Plus, I found a snow baby, which was one of our bucket list finds for this year. And we just gone and found one as well. We jokingly put a gold sovereign on our bucket list. We did. We put because like we never thought in a million years we'd find one. Gold coin or something on the bucket list. <laughs> and we actually found one. We can actually cross it off. Isn't that mad? Anyway. It's crazy. I think we'll leave it here and say our thank you. So thank you for everyone for liking the video, for subscribing, for leaving a comment down below. And of course, to all of our patrons who support us in making these videos for you every week. So thank you so much, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed yeah. filming it. Um, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>